Ever since the World Bank has started its activities in the West Bank and Gaza, its mission has been clearly directed towards financing vital projects to help raise the living conditions of the Palestinians, which are gravely influenced by the existence of external closures and internal restrictions. The World Bank has been here in Palestine since 1994. And the reason we're here is to help Palestinians. And during those 10 or more years, the World Bank has financed the rehabilitation of roads, uh, the building of uh, new health centers, the building of uh, new schools, uh, sending children to high school and graduating from high school, even during the Intifada, basic infrastructure in water, sanitation, uh, and electricity. The water and wastewater project implemented by the World Bank aims at improving the provision of adequate water and wastewater services. Even though the road to achieving that is long and difficult, let alone the crisis that is taking place in the area, yet the bank's role and experience in emergency operations is capable of initiating and achieving change in the water sector. First of all, we improve the water quality in terms of disinfection, in terms of making sure that uh, the service reaches almost everybody uh, conveniently enough to about 1.5 million inhabitants in Gaza. So the scope of the project is throughout Gaza Strip. Water quantity by introducing new quantities and replacing the wells which are uh, out of service. Also improving the administrative and managerial skills of the newly established coastal municipalities water utility. An earlier bank-supported water and sanitation services proved successful when it helped rehabilitate water networks and improve water and wastewater services delivery. In 1996, Gaza One project was launched, and it was to improve water and sanitation simultaneously. And the idea of launching a capable body able to operate the services in a professional way. This came from consecutive programs, and the World Bank adopted the idea which aims to improve water and sanitation services simultaneously. From 1996 to 2000, work has been done to improve water and sanitation services. Chlorination of wells was improved, and the capacity of water networks was improved as well, reaching an efficiency of more than 75%. In the year 2000, we were supposed to begin with the third stage. In 2000, the second intifada began, forcing the program to a halt and stopping the World Bank from financing the project of Gaza too. However, in order not to waste what was developed in four years, the World Bank agreed to resume funding the project through emergency funds. The CMWU, Coastal Municipalities Water Utility, has just launched a project to uh, rehabilitate and drill new wells uh, in this area which is suffering from water quality and water shortages. The strategy of the CMWU, which is online with the uh, technical uh, advice from the World Bank, is to uh, disperse uh, especially these wells and limiting their capacity to about 60 cubic meters per hour instead of having one big uh, well uh, so that the phenomena of upconing is going to be controlled 
and the quality of water which is pumped out of these wells can be preserved as long as possible. Of course, in the case of the Gaza Emergency Water Project, there is a key clear and concrete uh, benefit, and that is the provision of clean water to the Palestinian population. But there are other important aspects to this. One is the, the focus on institution and building of local institutions, in this case, the Coastal Municipal Water Utility, to undertake its functions in implementation in managing the sector in an efficient way, and in the process drawing in additional donor funds, badly needed donor funds, I might add. There is also a very important aspect to this, and that is the, uh, the fact that these projects in and of themselves generate local labor, they involve the local private sector, they create jobs, they create business opportunities, and this is also an important aspect of the work and one of the key objectives of the World Bank. Water is available and we make use of it well in this period. And thank God there were no water cutbacks. In this country, water is available now in a good way. We use the dropping system to save it.